Hello my angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I have got so many bits and bobs to do, I've got so many errands to run and so I thought it would be really really nice to bring you along with me. So many of you are asking to see sort of like my everyday life and come with me, show you my favourite shops in Marlow, the grocery shops, where I go and get all the gorgeous little pasta sauces from. So I felt like I should take you down to Marlow with me. But I must say that yesterday I went to the most incredible exhibition. It's actually been one of my favourite exhibitions I have ever been to. It was Crown to Couture. It was all about the fashion in the royal family and in the 17 and 1800s and the fashion was just breathtaking all the way to the fashion on the red carpet today and so I saw about 40 to 50 different Met outfits. I saw Audrey Hepburn's famous Oscar outfit and honestly it truly took my breath away. So I did film a tiny little bit whilst I was there so I'm going to pop that into the vlog here because I know that all of you would love to see that as well and then I will meet you down in Marlow. <laughs> Incredible was that exhibition. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to share as much as I wished. I just wanted to be as present as possible because quite honestly I was gobsmacked. The Billie Eilish dress, Marilyn Monroe, is literally my dream dress. The incredible dress that Blake Lively wore on the Met carpet that was the um, Statue of Liberty. She got halfway up the staircase and the dress, like boom, it changed. It was just fantastic. 
fascinating and one of my mum's best friends actually took me uh, as a birthday gift so we went to the exhibition and then we went to jacuzzi for lunch but anyway you all saw that just got to Marlow heading actually to the Taylors first as I said I've got lots of bits and bobs to do I then need to head into Space and K I need to buy a few little bits and pieces that I've run out of I'm gonna head into one of my favorite shops my best friend's wardrobe and have a little look at their brand new autumn winter collection anyway let's go and have a mooch here is the tailoring team let's go and get my trousers tailored it's such a gorgeous day it's so nice to be down in Marlow and the sun is shining and this is one of my favorite shops it's a shop called my best friend's wardrobe it is actually in fact owned by a friend of mine the stuff inside is absolutely beautiful and is an incredible price point so let's go and take a look Oh my goodness, it is my colour of the season. I think I'm slightly too obsessed with chocolate at the moment, but how beautiful is that little camisole? Let me tell you, I have these camisoles in every single colour. They are so handy, but they've also brought out the little camisole with the lace strap instead of the spaghetti strap. I think that's gorgeous. It's also a little bit easier to hide a bra strap underneath that. Isn't it gorgeous? It's the most beautiful quality satin and I love that colour. They've also got this gorgeous slip dress. I think I'm definitely going to have to try that on. I'm thinking like chocolate boots with a beautiful Holland Cooper trench coat over the top. I think that that would look incredible. I love that. <gasps> They've got some high-waisted wide leg trousers, beautiful caramels absolutely love this color palette beautiful dresses i love the neckline okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to do like a little bit of a selection and then i'm going to do a try on for you because they've even got a few little cable knits here in the traditional black and white creams i love it i love this skirt Look at how they've styled it. They've styled it with a roll neck, chocolate roll neck, with the satin silk skirt. I think that's beautiful. This side they've gone with a little bit more of a monochrome. So they've got all the whites and the blacks. I love that. A traditional chunky knit with the white and the black detail. They've got some wide leg trousers. They've got silk skirts. A few more of these camisoles. That's a gorgeous, almost like oyster color. And I love how they've updated the little strap. They've got a jumpsuit here. You will know how much I love a jumpsuit. And actually a jumpsuit is almost my every single day attire. When I'm working from home, I just find them so comfortable and so easy to wear. I might even try that on in the changing rooms and my top picks were the jumpsuit just because I feel like I never have enough jumpsuits to wear on like an everyday basis. I almost need to like create a little bit of a, a uniform to wear on days that I am at home. I've picked out a few more camisoles in colours that I don't have and I'm obsessed with this colour palette at the moment. So we've gone with this beautiful sort of like oatmeal colour and then I've got the gorgeous rich dark chocolate along with the matching silk skirts and then I've gone with this dress now I feel like it's all about the shape and it's all about how it's going to look on it's a long slip silk satin uh, like dress and I feel like it could be a little bit like the skims one but anyway let's have a little look and see what they look like on so the first outfit this is the chocolate slip dress I really really like it it is actually one size so it's slightly oversized on me it's really nice around the neckline and it has actually got the extendable straps so you can make it whatever length you want but I think it's really flattering I love the length and it's got little slits at the side so you could pop on a pair of like chunky boots or you could pop on a pair of stilettos I would look really rather sexy love the back I think this is a winner I love this and it is my color of dreams at the moment I think I'm slightly addicted to chocolate next outfit is this super chic super cool very trendy jumpsuit this is like I said my everyday uniform it's a slight wide leg which I love it's cut off just above the ankle so although I would probably wear this on a daily basis you could pop on a pair of heels and look just so cool but elevated it is waisted and obviously you have got the belt 
belt to cinch in the waist. It's a little bit oversized on the body, which is really cool. It's like a little bit of a boiler suit vibe. And um, yeah, absolutely love this one. I think this is definitely gonna have to come home with me. In the dressing room, please excuse my bra because I have got the wrong bra for this outfit. But this is the silk slip skirt. Now these are so versatile. If you didn't want to go with like the full dress, then you could go with the skirt and actually put a chunky knit or even a longer cardigan over the top. I have just simply tucked in the silk cami just to show you. It has the elasticated bit at the back. So handy let me tell you <laughs> but i really really love the colors i think it's absolutely gorgeous a little bit of a swishy number and like i said you can put on a roll neck and have the skirt just over the top you can even have the roll neck loosely fitted but they're just such an easy thing to wear and such a beautiful beautiful color I think I have saved the best till last. Look at this mega two-piece. Now you all know how much I love a two-piece, but look at this. Please excuse <laughs> the very bad choice of underwear today, but look at the length. So it, again, it's just above the ankle. It's got the side slits, but look at the trim. It's got this very light camel colored trim. It has the matching jumper. It comes up to the waist. It is so soft and cozy. Has a matching, almost like a bat wing jumper. It slims in at the wrist. You've got that beautiful caramel trim at the bottom there. And again, at the top of the neck. I love it tucked in. But also, when you have a jumper like this, you tuck it in at the front and you want it out at the back. They have elevated the details of this jumper to be able to showcase your derriere beautifully look at this they've created a bit of a slit here in the back so that you can see your nipped in waist and it is so flattering over the bottom and like i always say i have a rather large bottom and i do not need it accentuated and it has so beautifully just sort of shows off my waist and again you've got that gorgeous little caramel trim at the bottom here as well i absolutely love this again you could dress this up i mean pop on a pair of nude underwear not a black thong <laughs> and this would look gorgeous a pair of boots heels it is a vibe <laughs> on to the next job of the day I need to pick up a few of my firm favorites I'm getting through these jobs thick and fast. I'm now going to head up to one of my favorite shops, which is Fairfax and Favor. Here we go. They're right at the top of the high street and they have the most incredible selection of their beautiful collection in here. So of course you have their traditional Regina boot, beautiful suede, love the iconic tassels. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And look at this coat that is absolutely stunning. It is so classic, so classy, extremely elegant. I've actually got a pretty much a Fairfax outfit on today. These are their heeled boots. They've got the leather cognac, chocolate brown, beautiful suede. Their short boots, I actually have these and I wear them on repeat. These were the trainers I came to have a little look at. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the logo and they're in this tan suede, white laces. I think that that looks so classy. Their trainers are absolutely fantastic and they are so comfortable. Got their driver's shoes. Ooh, I tell you, that would look very handsome on Marcus. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the navy trim. I think he would love that. They do do them in different colorways. They've got the sort of oatmeal and chocolate. They've got the full navy. And then they have this sort of greeny 
navy tweed which is just gorgeous i do also love mark in their loafers i think they're so classy these are the men's collection boots and i just think fairfax and favor have absolutely nailed the toe on their men's collection boot there is nothing worse than having like a super super round clunky toe i think that these are so elegant for men and they're absolutely beautiful mark has a pair of these and they have lasted let me tell you for years i also bought these last year for my brother and they are very cool, very trendy, and they're very Cameron, I must say. Gorgeous men's collection. This is my outfit of the day. Very Fairfax in favor. So this is the brand new blazer. I love the buttons, the beautiful logo, almost like Ralph Lauren styled logo. They've got the gold buttons and it's just the most beautiful fit. I've paired it with my heeled, Fairfax and Favour boots, and then my burgundy Dior saddlebag. And that is my outfit of the day. I've got some classic miracle Windsor London leggings and a Wolford polo neck, because although the sun is shining, it is a little bit chilly. But yeah, I just had to come and have a little look at the new collection, but I am eyeing up that jacket behind me because it is absolutely beautiful. Very equestrian vibes. I've just tried on the Madeleine. How stunning is it? I love the collar. It's beautifully fitted. Look at those gold buttons. The little suede trims, absolutely beautiful. This is definitely, definitely on my wish list. <gasps> Gorgeous. I'm gonna have a little bit more of a browse and then I'm afraid I've got to get home as I have an obscene amount of work to do. Now something that is so exciting that has just come to Marlowe is an everyman. So this is one of those posh cinemas. <gasps> I might even have to book this for Saturday night. Bring Mark here for date night. Mark has actually in fact literally just got home. So I need to rush back, see him and get some work done. But how cool is this? Hello my angels, back at home, but it is actually in fact a whole nother day <laughs> since I spoke to you last. I'm sorry that I have been, quite frankly, utterly useless at vlogging this week. Obviously we went down to Marlow, we had a bit of a mooch. I was a little bit on a time frame, so I was sort of stressing that I needed to get back. I got my head down, I got lots of work done. Obviously now Mark is home, so it's really lovely to see him we just had a gorgeous almost like date night but at home pop this on silent sorry and yesterday actually I had a big charity event but I vlogged the entire day so that is coming on a whole nother vlog which will be live on Wednesday it's something that we've been working on for months and anyway, it just went so well. We raised an obscene amount of money for the Great Ormond Street Hospital Charity. Anyway, I'm going into it and I said I wouldn't. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil it for you, but that will be going live on Wednesday. Anyway, it is Saturday morning. The sun is shining. It's just the most gorgeous day. And actually, in all honesty, I've got quite a quiet day, which is so lovely. Mark and I are going to take the dogs for a walk. I've had a few different deliveries. I also wanted to show you what I picked up in Space and K because I actually bought a few things that I've never tried before. And one of them is this Hourglass. It's the volumizing lip gloss and it's in shade Mist just so that you can see the color. It's got one of those twisty applicators and I have it on at the moment and I am absolutely in love with it. It is so soft, it's not sticky at all. I definitely do feel it slightly plumping, but how beautiful is that shade? It's like almost like um, a peachy pink, if that makes sense, but it really, really pops my blue eyes out, which I love. So I picked this up and it's an absolute winner. Highly recommend. It's also super, super nourishing, which I love. And so many people asked me yesterday what my lip combination was. And when people ask what your lip combination is, I think that is the key. 
you've you've done well with the lip gloss <laughs> anyway i have also had a delivery from a very good friend of mine who works with a new brand called shampoo voila and she has very very generously sent me a pr package so that i can discover the brand for myself i have seen their content recently on instagram and it looks absolutely insane so i thought that i would open it with you guys so it says ancient wisdom for a modern hair love that brand motto it's also the chicest looking brand i've ever seen i can't wait to pop these bottles in my shower they are going to look so beautiful so shampoo is the fastest growing beauty and hair care brand in the uk wow it's amazing. From day one, our commitment has been to deliver exceptional products, and I'm thrilled to launch this new addition to our best-selling Peter range. Amazing. Gosh. So this is their branding, and here it says, thank you, we're thrilled you choose shampoo, and we hope you're looking forward to a new hair experience. We've worked hard to bring you the highest quality natural ingredients formulated using the science of triology. Mm hmm very nice oh, look at these products how cool does that look super super chic branding oh i love myself oh a scalp massager so these little tools stimulate the hair follicle growth really deep down into your scalp and also they just feel amazing oh i could literally do this all night and the fact that it is encouraging my hair to grow at the same time win 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 <laughs> Anyway, so they've included one of these gorgeous little shampoo scalp massages. Then we have their leave-in perfecting cream by... Mm -hmm. A leave-in... It's a leave-in cream. It's a lovely consistent... Ooh. Oh, the smell. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow, I really, really love the scent of that gosh that's gonna make my hair smell amazing so then we have oh wow this is the pitta brow serum for thicker fuller brows absolutely yes we all want our very own cara de Levine brows i wonder what the applicator oh the applicators like a little brush like so i tell you what i'm actually going to do that with you now I'm always, always trying to grow my eyebrows. I love a bushy brow look. So anything that is going to encourage these bad boys to grow, I would be forever grateful. And also it's really nice because I have actually done my makeup today, as you can see. Well, I hope you think that I've made an effort. <laughs> so actually it's really nice. It's a clear serum that I can actually just pop on over the top of my brows. As you know, I don't complicate my brows. I just use my either Hourglass or Shantakai um, brow gel. And it's really nice. I can literally just pop this over the top and it's like holding them in place and encouraging them to grow at the same time. I love that. Gosh, highly recommend. The fact that the packaging is beautiful, the ingredients are amazing, and hopefully the results will be equally as good as well. So I will keep you updated as to the brows. Love that. Then we've got their shampoo formulated to thicken, volumize, and strengthen hair. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, love. Okay, look at that. It's in a pipette form. And I'm sure you probably just pop in two or three. Section dry or damp hair, apply and massage into scalp style as usual. Mm, amazing. I love it when brands like this bring out a product that you can just incorporate into your everyday routine. Just means that you don't need extra time put aside to do like a whole nother hair routine. And it's just a product that you can just incorporate in your everyday routine and it's not something that's going to take a load more time. So 
love that and i'm most certainly going to be using that oh and they're very kindly sent too so that is absolutely amazing and then what's this one formulated to smooth nourish and booth radiance so do i put that in one to do drops daily on dry hair only never on wet hair oh i might as well do that now so one to two drops now do i oh i can literally okay let's do that together one two do we okay we rub and then i'm just gonna do that in my hair now oh i love the smell it smells like you know when you're at like a five star hotel spa resort and you walk into the spa and you're like oh, that instant tranquility that your body is just transcended into oh i feel like i'm in mauritius oh or the Maldives at the one and only Suniva Fushi, anywhere like that. Oh, good God, what I would do <laughs> to be there. But this beautiful product smells absolutely heavenly. Oh, well, Amelia and Shampoo, thank you so much for sending this across. I can't wait to try the products. I will leave all the details down below so that all of you can um, go and discover the brand like I am and um, give the products a try for yourself. And I'm going to trial these and I will let you know what I think. But first impressions of the unboxing, the branding and the product itself, I really like it. I must say, my hair... It's like instantly, you know when you've got the sort of like frazzled hair, especially like day two or three blow dry and it's looking a bit straggly, that's literally like brought my nice little loosened curls out and like the flicked ends. Mmm, very impressed. I must say. Anyway, Mark is downstairs waiting for me. I've probably got four hysterical sausage dogs. It's actually the first time in months that we are going on a dog walk together. I know that sounds crazy, but I feel like we're just passing ships in the night at the moment and work is busy, work is crazy for him, he's been travelling a lot, he's hardly been here. I feel like we're having like a long distance marriage and and uh, there are pros and cons, don't get me wrong, but um, no, it would be really nice to take the dogs for a walk together. It's just gone quarter to twelve, so let's go and have a gorgeous, super wholesome, autumnal dog walk in the Hamilton Valley. So, let's go. Boys? You want to go on walkies? Come on then. Oh my goodness. We're going to put your bras on. Should we put your bras on? Should we put your harnesses? Yeah? Mm, you're looking very porky as well. Mm. <laughs> Wiggy. Come on then. Legs, we're going to put your army, your army harness on. Come on then. <laughs> Come back a little bit. <laughs> There we go, perfect, one, done. Then I need, you're having a collar, right, where is Lancelot's? Where is Lancelot's? <laughs> oh, it's, Wiggy, are you just staying there? Just sort of standing in front of everybody? You are so funny. Right, Lancelot, come here, come on, come here, come on. Lancelot has his little harness on. He's a very posh boy because he actually has, oh, he has a little bow tie on his collar. Right, baby, the boys are ready. Are you ready? Odie, come here, we need your collar on. Let's go. Come on, come here, come here, come here. Let's put your collar on. There we go, baby. Right, we're all ready. Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Come on then boys. We are ready for the walkies. I'm actually in a sweater dress today. I'm actually feeling a little bit roasty in all honesty. It is beautiful weather out there. It's slightly mild. I'm hoping it is with the wind outside going to be slightly cooler so I'm uh, not going to overheat <laughs> whilst on the dog walk. Wiggy, you wanna show everybody your army? Your army harness? Oh my goodness. Raffi stocking up and a little bit of hydration before the walk. Yes, are you? 
Oh, you're so precious. Right, let's go on a gorgeous dog walk. Are we ready? Are we ready for walkies? Yeah? Go on then. <laughs> I think it's safe to say they're excited for their dog walk. Come on then, boys. Let's go. Oh, look, all the roses are back out again. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Oh, look at them. They look like gorgeous little pink marshmallows. Beautiful, teeny little itty bitty roses. Oh, how gorgeous. I've got Marcus with me today. Very excited to be dog walking together. Oh, they're so naughty. They're so, oh, that was not nice, Odie. <laughs> run, lots, lot, run. <laughs> then they do the zoomies. They are so funny. In the big field, and actually the farmer has taken the sheep out the field. Although it is so gorgeous to wake up and see the sheep in our field, and it's so beautiful, um, it does make it a little bit more difficult. It just means that all of them have to be on a lead, because we have a few very badly behaved people, mostly these two. Wiggy and Odie, who seem to think that they are sheepdogs. Yes, very badly behaved. So think Benton! Yeah, that's me screaming Odie, Wiggy and Lance a lot and then trying to run after them. Luckily, uh, sausage dogs with one inch legs thankfully can't get hold of the sheep. They're much faster. Um, but anyway, we, uh, we just don't want to have those types of stresses. No, we don't. But anyway, so the sheep are out of the field and we are walking Yes, and actually it's so lovely. We can, we can go on such long walks and not even hit a road, which is amazing. But we do have two that are very badly behaved. Um, Lancelot sort of gets a scent and absolutely legs it. And Wiggy is a bit of an antisocial person when it comes to other dogs. So you know what, better to be safe than sorry. Those two go on leads. And then the two older boys are so well behaved and so socialized, so um, they can potter off the lead. Anyway, oh, this is absolutely heavenly. Right, the boys got their leads on at the gate. Oh, oh gosh, he's already off. He's already off. Come on, boys. Oh. Here we go, through the woods, out the back. Oh, the weather is so gorgeous. I've literally got on just a sweater dress, a pair of trainers. I mean, honestly, the, the fashion police could see me right now. <laughs> home. Gorgeous walk. Rafi is absolutely exhausted. <laughs> the other boys are already by the back door. Oh, it's time to take their harnesses off. Having the most heavenly, wholesome weekend. Honestly, I can't tell you the last time we had a chilled weekend like this. Marcus and I have decided to go for a little drinky poo in Henley. So we went mooching in Marlow and we're now going to have a little mocktail in the sunshine in the Market Square. So let's head to Henley.
can't believe it. We came to Henley and we have literally bumped into our entire friendship group. We had a few, well, I had a few ginger ales because in all honesty, I've actually just had enough of alcohol <laughs> I in just general. had a few glasses of water. <laughs> Mark, yeah, my, my bottom, you did. Marcus has been on the V&Ts and I had some ginger ale, which was delish. Anyway, we are heading home for an early night and a delicious dinner. Beautiful. Paisley. We are absolutely sausage obsessed. You are so beautiful, Paisley. Hi, she's so beautiful. And you're so beautiful. I love her colouring. Oh, that was gorgeous. Just met Paisley. She was absolutely beautiful. So as I was saying, we are going to bring this vlog to an end. You've been Marlo mooching with me been for a gorgeous dog walk, had a little bit of an unboxing. It's been a bit of a random vlog in all honesty, but as always, I truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And as always, both of us are sending all of our love. <laughs>